Hi everyone, Miss Celia here, Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I have been growing microgreens indoors in the past couple of months. And this is something that I really enjoy during the fall and winter time, especially when we can't do a lot of gardening outdoors. And they are pretty simple to grow. They can be harvested within seven to 14 days after seeding. And they are actually more nutrient dense than their mature counterparts. Now, if you're not familiar with microgreens, they are the seedlings of leafy greens that we eat that are planted densely or in mass and are generally harvested right before they get their first set of true leaves when they have their embryonic leaves or cotyledons. So I recently experimented with growing them in fine coconut coir, premium worm castings, and warm nutrient tea from Vermistera. And I cannot wait to share the results with you guys. Now, we don't always get positive results with experiments. And in fact, some of the trays got moldy. This could be due to seed-borne pathogens or lack of aeration. Although the rest did excellent, and I'm excited for you guys to see how well they did. And the difference is pretty significant between ones that were grown only in coconut coir and the ones that were amended with worm castings and nutrient tea. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, find it helpful, and inspire you to grow some microgreens at home. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. And thanks to Vermistera for partnering with me on this video. Happy gardening! These trays are 13 by 9 inches and I added 3 cups of fine coconut coir and half a cup of worm castings. 2.5 teaspoons or about 8 grams of seeds were sown on each tray. After sowing, make sure to pat the seeds down and keep the soil moist by misting them daily. No light is needed until seeds germinate and this may take about 3 to 5 days depending on variety. After emergence, place the trays under a light source for about 4 to 8 hours daily. Hi guys, so it's been 7 days since I sowed the seeds and I'm seeing quite a difference between the trays, especially with the ones that had worm castings, worm tea. These two are growing in coconut coir and premium worm castings. I noticed right away that they are much taller, but also the cotyledons are much larger. These two are growing in coconut coir, premium worm castings, and weekly solution of worm tea. Now, I've only given them worm tea once after the seeds have germinated, so they'll receive another round of worm tea solution before we harvest them. Now, let's take a look at the ones growing in coconut coir only. So, I did notice that they are shorter. So typically microgreens are harvested before they get their first set of true leaves. These are all the cotyledons or embryonic leaves and they're actually more nutritious during this stage. I bottom water the microgreens every three to four days or when the tray feels light. It's important for your area to have good air circulation which can prevent mold growth and if not you can always place a fan to provide good airflow. So these four trays are only receiving water. These are the coconut coir only, no soil amendments. And then these two trays were amended with premium warm castings. The last two trays are amended with premium warm castings and weekly watering of warm tea. So I'm going to go ahead and give these some warm tea and water solution. So the ratio I'm using is one cup of water per two teaspoons of warm tea. So you want to Shake it up first. Give it a little stir. These have such healthy roots. The ones grown in coconut coir only did not have a strong root system and they were much shorter. You can see the tiny little hairs. These are fibrous roots, which is a great sign of a very healthy root system. So they'll have more exposure to water and nutrients. And when a plant has these, this kind of a root system when planted in the soil, in the ground, they'll be able to anchor themselves better and have a better absorption of nutrients and water, which will lead to a healthier and productive plant. The first seedling in this picture was grown in coconut coir only, the second one with worm castings, and the third one with worm castings in nutrient tea. Day 14, harvest day. You can see the significant difference in height of the microgreens. These are all kale microgreens, and you can see the difference as well in the size of the embryonic leaves. 
So I'm going to go ahead and harvest the ones growing in coconut coir only. And we have our scale zeroed out with a bowl. So when you harvest, you try to cut just right above the soil or your potty medium. So this one weighs 1.7 ounces and we can convert it to grams. So I'll just go ahead and write this down. Next one, coco coir with premium warm castings. So this one is nearly a whole ounce more than the one previous to this one. So 2.9 ounces. Last tray is the Coco Coir with premium warm castings and weekly solution of warm tea after germination. This tray is the fullest one, bigger leaves, taller microgreens. Some of them are almost four inches tall. So this is the winner, 3.3 ounces. This is the one with the coconut core and weekly solution of warm nutrient tea. Here is a new batch that I started four and a half days ago. Just showing you again how I stack up the trays. When we do this, it actually helps push the seeds down into the soil. Some people use weights to push down on the seeds. And I've seen some use small bricks that can weigh up to three pounds. But you don't have to. I don't usually do that. This is just how I set it up. These are definitely ready to go under the grill lights. You can see that they are starting to reach toward a light source. I place the trays about 12 to 18 inches away from the light. I have a full spectrum LED grow light and the light output is bright enough that it can support growth from that distance. So it's a good idea to know the lumens of the lights that you have. So the higher the lumens, the brighter the light, but that's a different subject. So I'll go ahead and leave a link below on the grow lights that I use. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful as well. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for joining me again, everyone. Happy gardening.